our next step will involve the VU and currently I'm using VU 10 complete. Um, as example, so you don't need to have the greatest uh, VU 12 infinity or higher level, so you can use it. Um, VU 10 will work just fine. A couple modules that I recommend you to have, it is render module, so you can work. Also, import module in some cases. Um, an ecosystem module. So you have a few modules that kind of recommend for you to have it, as well as the atmosphere editor. It is, um, you can add those as you're going and as need is occur, but overall you don't need to have the top of line tool to create some very beautiful digital made paintings. So right here we have our scenery and I'm going to create a standard terrain. We kind of need that for um, to create our high field map. So I'm going to right click and edit this object. Remember we was creating, our resolution was 4000. So this is what I want to do. At least set my resolution 4096 by 4000. So matching maps that we rendered previously. Let's go to reset this to the zero. Here our map. And next I'm going to add image. So you notice all right here, navigate it to our place, and I'm going to select high field one. Let's click OK. And you can see preview. We have our basic map. Of course, you can use it proportion to increase or decrease height. I'm just maybe a little bit pop up about 59. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And right here we have our nice, beautiful looking mountain. Let's go ahead and click OK. The next step is applying materials for this. So one thing what I want to do is take my camera, bring a little bit up and kind of look down so I can overview mountain and this point. And we'll take our sunlight and readjust slightly at this point. Overall, so I can bring kind of coloring easy look at this moment. We will readjust, of course, position of the camera in other place. First, what I'm going to do in our terrain, we'll open material editor. And I want to place some basic um, underlay for the mountain color. We'll go to the materials, we'll go to landscapes. And right here, we have some very nice rock and plants materials, we can use it or default. So the both these ones will work very well. However, default will provide a little bit less kind of destruction as well. We have some green grass in some patches. So I will probably left this one for now. And um, actually, I maybe even modify a little bit. So for example, if you don't want green grass, we can go always modify and add darker black so you can see how it will maybe too dark kind of and let's go to our rock and take a rock just slightly darker and a little bit to the brown color okay I'm going to this time set preview and we'll go to render and preview okay so let's go ahead and right here you can see we have it kind of okay but I'm not necessarily like this material so let's go try different one. We'll just go load it. And another one that says a rock and path. We'll go preload this one. View. So this maybe works slightly better for this mountain. Again, it's not a great resolution, just overall coloring I'm looking at. Okay, next let's apply some of those maps we use it. Notice right here it is world standard. But for the using map, we actually want to use it. Um, object parametric. So let's create a new layer. And a new layer, I want to just create a plain new material. Okay, and a color will just go loaded. And let's use it sandstone for this one. Okay, and notice it's the same color. What I like to do in many cases is apply some maybe purling noise. So it's kind of add very noisy effect. Um, other things, if we switch to object parametric, you'll notice how big um, noise appear. So to reduce, you don't want 
change scale because if we apply transparency through map that we're using before it will change all scales we want to apply through the function scale to reduce this way or we can go inside the function and apply otherwise so right here and you can see it's become kind of a smaller point next let's apply our maps we have it in transparency we'll set a global transparency all the way enable variable transparency and we'll go to edit function this is another module inside the complete so you can um, kind of need purchase this and I highly recommend for you to have that okay we'll go set the project texture map and let's load it so right here we have our flow map let's click OK and one thing you can notice on a flow it is kind of going opposite way so let's go to click in inverse you can see on a map how it's applied and let's say interpolation to bilinary because I want to come closer and if we don't save it any interpolation type we'll see some pixelization going click OK click OK again um, let me bring this just slightly up so we can see end and reason why because if we're going right here to the end you can see right this edge how it's work so we will um, apply some to this to cover but you can see how it's going also if I want to create snow for example in this case instead of red and orange all what I need to do is just go and preloaded some um, for example gray with shade okay, we'll go right here and we'll just switch this maybe just slightly to the bluish okay let's click OK so an example we can have it the snow kind of applied so you can see um, with this mask we can apply a lot of cool different materials um, I don't worry too much about this low level because I will go render probably above but just to let you know so you have it right here where this map ended and if you need cover more we can create additional layer of um, as example just snow and it's okay if it's world standard so let's go set zero on this one okay and on a snow we'll just take environment and bring down kind of almost all the way right around this area and just let's add small effect so there you go if we needed cover you can see we can match on the bottom that way okay so let's go ahead next we'll move our camera out and I want also apply some effect to the wear and um, to the deposits as well so we'll go back to our material for the deposit let's use it something different colors and again I'm going to create just basic we'll open and we have it multiple so I'm going to create some little bit more interesting details for this so that right now let's just create green gray okay we'll save I want to apply some of that noise notice you can also modify right here wavelength or we can go and modify inside function okay again this is set to the world standard so I want to go modify object parametric okay next let's go to the transparency pop-up transparency variable same things we did before we'll go to um, navigate and right here deposit notice it will go on the bottom and we're going just kind of on the middle so let's select where for now okay again I want to inverse that map click OK we can go preview and we're just slightly apply right where the snow just around this area okay let's go create another layer environment we need it reset 
Okay, this is will be on a bottom with a deposit. And for that one, actually, I want to create something maybe a little bit different colors kind of. Let's go with a stone gray. Okay, same thing. So I'm going to apply. You don't necessarily need to use pearl noise. You can use it if you want a different, uh, for example, terrain fractal. We can use even this one and just set very low effect. So how say so you can use a different. Okay, next let's go apply um, transparency. Okay, and we're going to again create the image import and we'll just use a deposit. Okay, let's go to Balanary. And I don't think I use it Balanary on other ones. Notice it will go over some of our snow, which is okay for this. Let's click OK. And other things, I don't have any bitmap on this one, so you can see it's nothing there. So right here, let's say it is um, flow. Okay, on that one. Oops. This one was... Deposits, and this one was actually where in deposit. This is deposits, and other ones was where. One thing to know in view this layers the stack. So this is our bottom, and they're going regarding. So if I want to have my flow a little bit strong, I need to take this flow and move up. Okay, let's go preview. And you can notice right here we have our flow. Again, it does not um, blend very well. So it's the reason why in some cases, strongest if you put it like on the bottom. And right here, see how the end, it's kind of start matching. Okay, next what I want to do, I want to add the snow on the top of my mountains. So for this, I will create new layer, select my snow. It's okay if it's world standard. We'll click zero. But right now I want to place this on um, maybe specific altitude. So for this one, we'll go use it, our environmental tag. So we'll go bring this little bit high up. Okay, maybe around this area. Let's add the fuzziness, a little bit blending on top. And a slope constraint, this is what will give it kind of interesting effect. For example, if we want to create it just on the flatter areas, we'll just go and bring this closer to this right here. Add a stiffness. And let's prefer orientation. So we have it kind of, you see, right on one side kind of going effect. So we're going to preview. And right here we have it a nice, beautiful snow going over areas. Okay, at this moment, I want to go take my camera, bring closer. Um, I think right now it's actually a very good time for you to go and save um, your work. Okay, so after we're done, let's next portion tutorials, we'll start stop lighting and pre-render these components of the mountain because I don't really worry too much around. What I want to do is take this mountain so I can do with a shape after and put it inside the Photoshop and work at this point. So I will have a different areas to render of this mountain and combine after.